Once again, we're on location at the John F. Kennedy Middle School in Woburn, and we're here today to bring you another episode of Stateside Footy, the public access television program that features Australian rules football as it's played here in the United States. Alongside the ground, I'm your host, Bill Robert, joined by a very special guest today, namely my nephew, Kyle Shute. Kyle comes over to our house a lot and likes to watch the footy with us, and he's been learning so much about the game just watching with us. Since he came out here with us to help today, I figured we'd let him jump in, so he'll be doing the game with me today. On tap this afternoon, it's Metro Footy and another installment in the Boston Demons Zadie's Rainbow Competition between the first place River Rats and the last place Lobstermen. The Rats are indeed atop the ladder as we look here with a 2-0 and record so far. In the middle of the Buffaloes with a win and a loss, and on the bottom sit the Lobstermen who have yet to win a game this season. Of course, it's still early and there haven't been a lot of games played yet, meaning that a win for the Lobstermen would put them in a higher stead and a possible battle with the 1-1 one one Lobstermen. For the River Rats, today's game is a win-win situation, as either way, they're guaranteed to stay atop the ladder. One interesting note in all this is that during the week, the River Rats made a deal involving a player swap with the Buffaloes, which led to the Rats picking up key ruckman Paul Kupke. With that move, the men in blue and gold are certainly looking to add to their weapons and bolster their position ahead of the rest of the competition. Speaking of competition, that's what we're going to have for you next. It's Demons Metro Footy, the River Rats and the Lobstermen. It's coming up right after this. Stay tuned and get ready to get your footy on right here on Stateside Footy. Life's this hard, graduating can be even harder. But you can help Ativa and the students in your community make it through by visiting boostup.org.
Just about ready for a footy action here. We're at the uh, John F. Kennedy Middle School here in Woburn, where today we're bringing you yet another edition of Stateside Footy. Bill Robert here alongside the field and a special commentator today, Kyle Shute, who's going to be helping out from time to time. Kyle, hello. Hi. Oh, big kit there uh, getting set to, for the game. And they're just about to uh, do the opening uh, ball up at center. Today we have the lobster men and the river rats. River rats right now atop the ladder. Lobster men at the bottom currently. And it's knocked ahead and uh, first to get there, Shippers look to get it. He's uh, battling though with uh, Jonik and Shippers gets taken down by uh, Russ Druckenmiller. And now with it, uh, we have the river rats. Devine's got it right now, PJ Devine kick into space and uh, looking for it there was uh, James Aylward kick toward goal. And it's going to roll, and it looks like we've got it behind. Indeed, we do. So, first point scored by the River Rats. And right now, no goals, one behind. And it comes out now and uh, working with it, trying to get it over to uh, Joe Connor, who's on the side now. It's taken away and. Uh, Move back. Jonik has it now. He tries to handball it. That handball is blocked by George Lacomi. Ed Callahan now handballs or tries to knock it out of the little bit of a mess there. And uh, let's see here. We've got a whistle. And we're going to have a stoppage in play. And the free kick going to George Lacomi. Lacomi's got the free. Big kick out. Oh, a push to the back there. Who was that in space? That was uh, number 11, uh, Joe Fantoni. <laughs> Bit of a pull on the jumper there. Uh, almost uh, losing his jumper there was Ed Callahan. And now they take it to the uh, center wing. Handball to head. Over to Jonik. Handball back and uh, long kick to trying to find somebody in space. The only, only jumper there is going to be red and it's going to go out. Actually, no, it's going to stay in play. And the uh, lobster men are going to try and work it again. Kick now up towards uh, the center wing. Fisted ahead there by uh, Drew Patrickwin. And pulling on the jumper, we've got the free kick going to uh, the River Rats, and that's a Ben Dodge, number 12. He kicks it up now. And it's taken, almost taken there by Shippers in defense. He's being held up, though. Uh, River Rats trying to uh, make uh, something happen with it. Cup key now, the, uh, the uh, River Rats' newest acquisition and taking the defense there nice job there that was uh, number six Patty Tangney for the lobstermen and uh, the mark taken there at the center wing by George Lacomi Lacomi kicks it ahead now He's trying to find somebody in space is gonna roll on the ground but stay in play at least for the moment taking it though is uh, Joe Fantoni it looks like and he handballs it ahead and once again here come the river rats kicked ahead now Big kick there, taken down almost, not quite. I believe that was a uh, Shepherd. And coming out now from their own back pocket, the lobster men once again. Oh, Shippers tries to take it. He's got it now. And Shippers kick up toward the goals. No mark taken, but it's uh, close in front. But then uh, Devine carries it out and kicks it, and the mark is taken by Druckenmiller. At center halfback, he kicks it now up through the corridor, looking for Jonik, he's got him. Jonik takes the mark, takes the free kick. Towards the forward pockets, knocked away there. Nice job there by the uh, lobsterman, that was number six, Patty Tangney. And uh, River Rats uh, take that to Aaron Pass, and here they come again. This is uh, Kupke now handballing it ahead to Knezovic. Back to Kupke. However, Kupke can't keep up with it. Handball over now. Kick toward goal. Looks like it's going to be sailing uh, left a little bit. It is. It's going to be a behind. And right now the score of the River Rats. Two behinds. Lobstermen yet to, yet to score. Had an opportunity in close. They just couldn't connect with anybody in the goal square. And the lobster men getting set to take the kick out. 
after that behind. And on the lead, they've got him taking the mark there. Number eight, that's Mike Shepard. Shepard to take the free. And he puts it toward the center. Oh, going there, getting it, Dave Knezovic for the River Rats. And he kicks, fisted ahead though. Nice uh, pressure on defense there once again by Tangney. Picking it up now is Lacomi. Lacomi's got it at the center wing. He's just going to kick it forward. In there to take the mark in defense. Once again, P.J. Devine. Another opportunity for the Lobster Men. Squashed by the defensive pressure of the River Rats. Back at the center wing now. Here come the River Rats again. Kicking into space. With it now is Aylward. He can't handball it off to Kupke, though. Kupke does get it off the ground, though. He kicks ahead. That's going to roll. And it's going to be out of bounds, so uh, it'll be a boundary throw in Man, in the River Rats uh, left front pocket. Man, this is a blasting game so far. So far, yes, indeed, Kyle. Indeed, looking good. River Rats have had the territorial opportunity, but the, the Lobster Men have been stout on defense, only uh, conceding two behind so far. And here comes the boundary throw in. Shippers has it now. Shippers hauled down, though, before he can do anything with it. It's just soccer to head now off the ground to awaiting Knezovic. Knezovic takes the kick now. In front, Lacomi takes it. Lacomi at center fullback gets it out to Shepard now. Shepard gets it at halfback flank. And he will kick it to head now. And the mark is taken there by Jim Murphy. Murphy kicks it ahead. He's got Connor on the lead. Connor can't pick it up, but uh, Garofalo has it. Handballs it to Callahan. Kick ahead. Going now the uh, the other Matt now, the, the new guy they're calling him. Shippers has it now. Shippers just tries to make a kick toward goal. And it's going to bounce, and who's going to get there first? Uh, looks like Devine's going to get it out of danger. He's going to get it to Fantoni. Fantoni does a nice little uh, shake and bake move there and kicks it, and it bounces off of... Uh, Apple. Knezovic takes the mark at center. He's got Apple on the right. Up in front, he's got uh, Hollywood. Edward takes it, though. And the mark is taken by the Lobstermen. They kick it now towards center. And defensive mark taken. That's uh, Knezovic once again. Out to Ari Jonik on the wing. Just goes a little too uh, far ahead of him. And it's taken now by Lacomi. Lacomi coming up the center wing now. Kick up for Shippers. Shippers can't corral it, though. And Knezovic's going to get it. He kicks back. Looks like the first person there will be Lacomi. Fortunate bounce for him. Now he handballs it to Callahan. Back to Lacomi. Lacomi now. Handball over. And it's lost, but it goes behind him. And uh, Lacomi's got it now. And he's going to kick it forward to about uh, center half forward. Shippers can't get it, though. He and uh, Druckenmiller were in the contest. Nobody came down with that one. And the kick taken. The mark there. Nice job. That's uh, Matt, the uh, the new guy for the Demons. And uh, the kick uh, to center right there. Shepard took a little too long to corral that. Almost got taken down. And it goes back now to Lacomi. Lacomi setting up a long kick. And oh, that was high contact. Yeah, high contact. He got him uh, right up around the shoulders. So he's going to have the free kick now. Kicks it in, looking for Matt. He's got him! Matt takes the mark at about uh, center half forward. First scoring shot opportunity for the uh, lobbies, and it goes through! Lobstermen score the first goal of the afternoon, and they take the lead. The score right now... Uh, one straight six to uh, two behinds. And the score of that one, Matt, number five. Not to be confused with uh, Matt Garofalo. Matty G is wearing number 11 for the Lobstermen today. Nice uh, scoring shot there. Uh, took the mark, first of all. Nice uh, mark, came down with it, held onto it, and then uh, kicked it right in from uh, about uh, center half forward. And uh, we get set to uh, ball it up once again at center. Knocked out by Kupke, and with it now is Jonik, who handballs it ahead. And uh, with it now is Dodge. Handball's back to Jonik. Jonik kicks it a long way ahead. 
Looking for somebody. Oh, looking for Aylward, but it's taken in defense by the Lobster Men. And uh, Shepard can't take the mark. However, Callahan's got it now. Callahan kicks ahead looking for Connor. Goes over Connor, though. Joe Fantoni looks like he's going to come down with it. Gets around Callahan, gets it over to Kupke now. Kupke, kick is smothered there by Lacomi. Bounces off and is taken now. That's uh, Patrick Quinn. Taken there by Dodge. Dodge, though, brought down by Lacomi. He's able to dispose of it before he get called for holding. And with it now is Callahan. Callahan moving ahead, takes a kick. Looking for shippers right in the middle. However, the first one to come down with it is Joe Fantoni for the River Rats. And he's moving ahead with it. He plays on. He's looking for uh, Aylward. Aylward with a sliding mark. That was beautiful. James Aylward, Hollywood, the sliding mark. And he's going to kick it over now. Get some open space there. Miller, take I believe mark. that's uh, yep, Ross Druckenmiller. Larry number eight for the River Rats. <laughs> nice little top by Mike Shepard. Caught in front of the goalposts. Nice defensive mark taken there by the Lobstermen. And now they kick it out. And Shepard will take it at uh, left halfback flank. He kicks it ahead now. Callahan takes it. And the Lobstermen are away. He's got Shippers on the lead. However, oh, Shippers goes down. And Fantoni winds up getting the ball off the ground. Kick back up through the corridor. Shepard uh, tips it a little bit. Lacomi giving chase now. He's uh, in there right now, battling for it along with uh, Mark Apple. Lobster men get it now, and they kick it out. They've got Shippers there. Shippers, oh, he can't hold on to it, though. And as a result, he's being harassed there heavily by Drew Patrickwin. Patrickwin has the ball now, actually. Handball to the head to Jonik. Ari Jonik with it now. He kicks it uh, once again towards the goal area. And there's a contest for it. It goes to ground. Lobster men uh, try and handball it out. With it there now. That's uh, Dodge. Handballs it back to Jonik now. Back to Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller goes ahead. And, oh, taken down. He's holding his jumper. He's going to get the free kick. That was Mark Apple. Was going up for it. Got uh, some contact in the back, and he grabbed his jumper. As a result, Mark Apple will get the free kick. About a 45-degree angle out. Kicks it toward there. Will it have the carry? Right in front. It's knocked through. It's going to be knocked through. And that'll be a behind. River Rats with their third minor score. They still have yet to score a goal. So now the score of the Lobstermen, one straight six. The River Rats, three behinds. And from the kick out, the Lobstermen get it up to Callahan and then handballs it to Garofalo. Back to Callahan now. Callahan kicks it. Right there at the center wing. Mark taken by the Lobstermen. They kick it ahead now. Trying to find Shippers in space. Shippers is able to take the mark. He was in traffic. He had Devine and Scotty Nicholas right around them. But uh, Adam Shippers is able to take the mark. Shippers right now the leading goal kicker in this Metro competition. And he's going for another one. Would have the carry. And... Uh, Let's see, they're saying good shot adds. Are they doing the kick out or are they, oh, they're bringing it up to center? So that indeed is a goal. So that's uh, now Lobstermen, two straight 12. Adam Shippers with the major score. The Lobstermen increased their lead. It's now 12 to 3. And uh, getting set once again to uh, ball it up at center. The umpire, Bruce Rogers, will throw it up for grabs. And it's uh, fisted ahead by the Lobstermen, but getting there first is Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller kicks over. Still in play, momentarily. It's still in play, actually. Jonah gets it. Kicks it toward goal. First person is Garofalo, but he can't field it cleanly. Now he's got a couple of uh, river rats on him. Loose ball, and with it now is Shepard. Shepard handballs it back. And uh, they're just trying to run around with it. Uh, Tangney right now has it. And let's see. Looks like it's going to be out, and we'll have a boundary throw in now. On the center wing. So far, a lot of action in the River Rats' end, but uh, most of the scoring in the Lobstermen' end. And it goes over everyone, goes to ground, and uh, Callahan tries to get away with it. Working with it now is uh, Dodge, and uh, let's see what they're calling now a uh, free kick given to the River Rats. No, I'm sorry, to the Lobstermen. Roger Lacomi taking the kick. Yep, Lacomi has uh, shippers on. Nope, that's just going to go over his head. 
Getting there is Fantoni. First, however, it goes right through him. Shipper is trying to move it ahead to an advantageous position. And uh, with it now, the Riverettes there. That was Ben Dodge. And the mark taken at center by Knezovic, and then he just kicks it ahead. Looking for uh, Kupke in front. It's fisted away. I believe that was Shepard. Shepard has it now after the handball. Shepard kicks it ahead right into the waiting. Oh, actually, it goes right through Knezovic's hands. And a high tackle. There's contact above the shoulders on Shipper, so he'll get the free kick. Big kick by uh, Shippers coming in. And... It's a free kick. Hang on. We have a whistle here. A little bit of a debate. Wondering uh, whether or not it was a goal or if it was a mark awarded to uh, Scott Nicholas. He called uh, Bruce uh, Rogers uh, explaining the call right now. It was a mark awarded. That'll do it for the first quarter of this match with the score standing. The Lobster Men, two goals straight, 12 points, and the River Rats, three behinds, three points. We'll be back with second quarter action next. You're watching Stateside Footy, the show that brings you the game that's Australian made, American played, and we bring it to you on cable and online at www.statesidefootytv.com. kitchen surfaces, utensils, and hands with soapy water. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. Well, so far, kind of a deceptive uh, score here. If you look, uh, a lot of the territorial edge has been in the attacking end of the River Rats. River Rats only coming away, though, with three behinds. Uh, the two goals uh, this game so far scored both by the Lobstermen. First one uh, by, uh, as they call him, Matt the New Guy. Uh, who scored the first goal, a nice uh, kick from center half forward. Adam Shippers with a long one, too, and that made it uh, basically two goals straight, 12 for the Lobstermen. <laughs> That's where we stand right now, 12 for the Lobstermen, three for the River Rats, and we're getting set to uh, put the ball back up for grabs to start this second quarter. And here we go. And once again, Kupke taking it out of the ruck, but the Lobsterman winding up with it now. Shippers with a big kick court goal. It's bouncing. It's going. It's through. Shippers with a second goal of the game. And very quickly, Lobsterman increased their lead. We've had uh, some changes now. Mike Shepard now for the River Rats wearing the number two. A little bit of uh, active uh, trading there between the two teams. Of course, the uh, biggest uh, acquisition for the River Rats is their ruckman, Paul Kupke. Got him from the Buffaloes. Off the ruck now, it's taken by the uh, River Rats. I'm sorry, the Lobstermen again, George Lacombe there. And uh, battle for it along the boundary line. Stays in play, though. Still in play. And now there's a whistle, and it uh, looks like it's going to come out. Now we're going to have a boundary throw in. Where are we? Uh, yes, we are. Boundary throw in. And uh, knocked ahead. Almost into the hands of Druckenmiller. He's taken down. It looked like it was a high tackle, though. <laughs> and the uh, River Rats kick it out. Goes right past Knezovic. And going for it now. And uh, taken down there big time. Got to see who's wearing eight for the Lobsterman now. Shepard kicks it toward the goals. And taking the mark there, number six, who I believe is still Patty Tangney. Kick the head now. Shippers, oh, it goes off his chest. Tried to take the chest mark. Just bounced. Kicks it ahead now to Connor. Connor's got it. Joe Connor with the mark. At about center half forward. He's looking for Callahan. However, almost taking it there was Jonik in defense. He tries to roll it ahead now. Connor has it again. Handball over, right into uh, the hands of P.J. Devine, and the River Rats are away momentarily because George Lacombe is going to take the defensive mark for the Lobstermen. And he's going to get uh, 
At the half forward flank, that's Joe Connor again. Oh, Shank that went off his foot. It's out. It's out. They're going to have a boundary throw in. Boundary throw in. Good result for the Lobstermen because it's still pretty much in their end of the, their attacking end of the ground. However, it's kicked out by the River Rats. And then kicked ahead. Basically, the only people back there, that's Elward. Elward has it, but then he's held up by Tangney. Nice job there on defense. Dodge has it now. Dodge handballs back to Patrickwin. Over to Jonik. Harry Jonik has it now. It's taken down by Garofalo, but uh, Knezovic now, who's also taken down. Nice job there uh, by, it uh, looks like, uh, I think, Apple now, who's wearing number eight. And uh, kick ahead, bounces toward Connor. However, Connor's held up there. And with it now is Shepard. Shepard with a big kick. He's got Knezovic waiting. He takes the mark right at the center wing. Trying to set up a target in deep. He's got Dodge back there. Druckenmiller moving into position as well as Aylward. He's just kicking toward the goals. Lacombe can't come down with it, though. The ball is loose, but Lacombe's able to get it off the ground. Does a quick little move to get around. And, uh, oh, ball takes a bad bounce. And the uh, lobsterman trying to move with it now. And it goes over now to uh, Matt, who's got one of the goals. Kicks over the head of Connor. It's going to wind up in the hands of Shepard. Shepard now with a kick up to Jonik. Jonik can't take the mark at the center wing. And the uh, lobstermen have it again. Murphy there. Murphy's taken down. Uh, actually, not quite taken down, but uh, he's able to kick it ahead. And uh, winds up in Shepard's hands. Shepard will uh, once again try and move it out. However, it's going to bounce to Lacombe. Lacombe tries to get it as well as Dodge. Dodge bounces it ahead, and he's got it. Back to Druckenmiller. Takes a bounce and gets to him. And it looks like it's going to be out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throw in on the center wing. And once again, up it goes. Knocked over right into the hands of Ben Dodge. Over to Knezovic now. Knezovic's kick is smothered there by Matt Garofalo. Oh, Apple couldn't, it went right off his shoulder. Then he tried to handball it back, and it went to ground. Ball back on the ground now. Dodge has it now. Ben Dodge kicks it ahead. Looking for Elward. Elward doesn't have it. It looks like um, we're going to battle back there at Tangney now. Oh, Tangney. Holding the ball is the call. Untangney, which means uh, Elward's going to get the free kick. Elward gets the kick in close, but um, it's going to be a tight angle. Question is, will we try and set somebody up uh, a little further up, but a little straighter out? Or is he going to try and banana it through? He's going to try and banana it through. And looks like it's a behind, because I just heard someone mentioning a kick in. No active uh, goal umpires at either goal, so <laughs> sometimes it's a little hard to determine uh, what uh, went where. But that uh, was indeed uh, behind for Aylward, or was, yep. Taking the uh, kick out now is Lacomi. And Lacomi kicks it out. Shippers has, oh, nice spoil there by Druckenmiller, but Shippers has it now. However, it goes back to ground, handballed over. And uh, Druckenmiller still pursuing in defense. Shipper's in there trying to go for it now. Druckenmiller's got it, but he's on the ground. Ball is loose. Shippers kicks it ahead now. Trying to get it to Apple in the middle. Knezovic tries to get it. He's got it now. Knezovic just takes a big kick toward goal. Lacombe goes for him. Nicholas has it too. Nicholas just on the ground. Trying to get a loose foot to get a boot on the ball. And uh, coming back in uh, support was uh, the other Matt, the new guy. Number five. And uh, Mark attempt to spoil that center. And Lacombe the takes the mark. He's awarded the mark after that uh, kick in there by uh, Ross Druckenmiller. So now Lacombe has the mark. Kicks it out. He's looking for. Doesn't find him, though. He was looking for, I believe that was Apple there. And. Goes back to ground. Nicholas has it now. 
Nicholas kicks it back to Knezevic. Knezevic takes the mark. Right half forward flank. And he tries to put it in space in the middle. And uh, nobody takes the mark there. It goes to ground. Dodge going for it now, battling Lacomi. Dodge still in there fighting for it. Lacomi handballs it to Matty G now. And, uh, and Kyle, my nephew, almost takes the mark on the sidelines outside the boundary line. Nice kick. <laughs> it was touched, so uh, got a boundary throw in. And performing the boundary throw in is Ross Druckenmiller. And it's knocked back and goes to ground. And uh, being tackled as soon as he picked it up, that's uh, Jim Murphy. They're going to ball it up. They're going to ball it up. Indeed, they are. And Kupke tries to knock it ahead. Jonik fists it ahead, too. Tries to get Scotty Nicholas. However, going along the ground trying to work it out is George Lacomi. He's taken down. And the kick now toward goal. And this That's is a goal. goal. That uh, looks like Ari Jonik. Jonik with the first major score for the River Rats. And all of a sudden, it's a much closer game. It's now 1-4-10. Uh, score is 18 to 10. 18 to 10. That's right. Three goals straight, 18 for the Lobstermen. River Rats, four minors and a major, 10 points. So now the River Rats trail by eight or one goal, two. And we'll get set to uh, bring it up for grabs once again at center. And Kupke knocks it right to Druckenmiller, who hand, uh, handballs it right back to Kupke. Knezevic has it now. And he just kicks it along the ground looking for Aylward. A couple of uh, lobstermen in there too. However, high contact looks like the call is going to be. And so the uh, free kick is given to Aylward. A.K.A. Hollywood. A.K.A. Hollywood, yes. One of the guys we've seen uh, quite a lot uh, during the uh, Demons' uh, last couple of seasons. Playing usually up front, either a half forward or a full forward. He's getting set to take the big kick. And it's just going to go left. And or it's a it? behind. It looked like a behind, but and I'm hearing applause, so... Nice long kick, but uh, it is behind. It is behind because Lukomi's going to take the uh, kick out, and Lukomi takes the kick out. Almost a sliding mark there by Tangney. One five eleven now for the River Rats. Lobstermen still lead eighteen eleven, and with it now that's Apple tries to handball it over, can't do it, and uh, holding the ball. And uh, yep, the River Rats get the free kick. Aylward kicks it ahead, and it looks like it's going to be out on the full. Lobsterman will take the kick in. Uh, yep, kick in from uh, just outside the uh, goal post, or the behind post, actually. So free kick for the uh, Lobsterman. And the mark taken there in the back pocket by Tangney. He kicks it across the field, trying to find Apple. Looks like it's going to go uh, over the boundary. So as That'd a result, we will have a boundary throw in just about at the center wing. Metro footy, it's what you're watching today, right here on Stateside Footy. The score stands late in the uh, second quarter. The Lobstermen 18 and the River Rats 11. Coming in now and with it is Callahan. Callahan kicks it up now and uh, he's got Connor. However, it's spoiled by Druckenmiller. And Fantoni has it now. Here come the River Rats again. And going for it now, that's, uh, oh, Kupke. Hollywood. Edward has it now, but oh, it's blocked, smothered by uh, George Lacomi. Jonik has Jonik it now. now. Jonik's got the goal. And it's knocked away by Callahan. Callahan takes it now in his own back pocket. Gets past Scotty Nicholas and then kicks it towards center. And the mark is taken there by Knezevic. And he kicks it forward. Got a couple of people in there. And it's going to go. Did it? Was it touched? Yes, it was going to be. It's a behind. It's a behind. Okay, that was touched. So as a result, River Rats now. They're at 1-6-12. They trail by a goal. We're coming, taking the kick in. George has got it now. Looking for someone to kick to. And he kicks it over. And uh, the mark takes is taken. Mark. 
Yep, Patty's got the mark. Up he goes. How However, what takes the mark? Yeah, Edward, the only player there, the uh, opposition mark for the River Rats at center. Let's see if he goes up the corner. No, he actually goes up the wing. Thing is, there's nobody there. Although Nicholas gets there now. And now it goes, uh, the kick to uh, Fantoni. Fantoni with a big kick towards the goals. And it's... Uh, behind. Behind. It was touched on the way in. Let's just double check and see where uh, George goes from. Yep, okay, it's going to be a kick out again. So that's 1-7-13. The River Rats inching their way closer ever so slightly. Goes right over the hands of... Uh, Shippers, however, Garofalo has it now. And yeah, almost taken by Matt. Mark. Ball's on the ground now. And Aylward tries to get it through. Fantoni handballs it ahead. Jonik has the ball. Yep. Jonik tries to handball it. And uh, Knezovic has it now. Goes back to ground. And Shippers had it momentarily. Garofalo gets tackled there by his opposite number 11, Fantoni. Joe Fantoni's got it now. He just handballs it over to Ben Dodge. Dodge moving through the corner, kicks it ahead. I believe it may have caught a little contact on the way, but uh, Nicholas has it now. Nicholas with a kick. I think it deflected off. And it hit the behind post. So it's going to be behind? Nope. Actually, if it hits the behind post, it's uh, considered, although I don't know if it bounces up. If it hits it in the air, it's considered out on the full. I believe it's the same thing here where they're, they're going to treat it like it's out on the full. Oh, no, okay, they're like just like it went out of bounds. If it goes through the air and hits the behind post, it's out on the full. But if it hits the ground and hits the behind post, it's a boundary throw and it's considered out of bounds. Which makes sense. The rules apply just like with a kick through the air. And, oh, Lacomi takes it. They were looking for Nicholas in front, but George Lacomi takes it in right in front. Shippers can't take the mark, though. It bounces off his hands as he tried to take the overhead mark. And uh, it's fisted ahead now by the lobster man. Hollywood. Mark Apple really uh, getting into it there. Ship, uh, Shepard now kicks it out. Out on the full. And it's out on the full. So the uh, lobbies will get the free kick. All right to center, they've got Matt lined up. And he takes the mark. Going right up the, uh, they're going right up the wing. So now they go to takes the company. mark. Yep. Kidney kicks it ahead. Nice sliding mark there. That was beautiful. That was uh, Earl Evan, number three. Yep. Todd, hang on. A little bit of a controversy here as uh, time is called. Trying to give somebody, uh, see if someone uh, can uh, take the shot, but I guess... Uh, Nope. That's it. We're at halftime, and that's the way it's going to be as we get set to uh, head into the major break. The score stands. The Lobstermen, three goals straight, 18, and the River Rats, one goal, seven behinds, 13 points. Coming up next, second half action. Actually, hold on. They actually are giving him the shot. And he's not going to make it. There we go. Now the quarter's over. A little bit of confusion there, but uh, we're set there. Score after uh, the full first two quarters. Lobstermen, three goals straight, 18. River Rats, one goal, seven behind, 13 points. And coming up next, this time, we mean it. It's going to be a second half action as you're watching the Lobstermen and the River Rats. It's all part of the Boston Demon Zadie's Rainbow Metro Footy Competition right here on Stateside Footy. In 1977, in Johannesburg, South Africa, an eight-year-old boy picked up the game of golf from his father. By the age of nine, he was already out playing him. The odds of this gentle lad winning the Junior World Golf Championships at the age of 14, one in 16 million. The odds of that same boy then making it to the US and European Pro Golf Tours, one in seven million. The odds of the Big Easy winning the Open Championship once and the US Open Championship twice, one in 780 million. The odds of this professional golfer having a child diagnosed with autism, 
one in 110. Ernie Els encourages you to learn the signs of autism at autismspeaks.org. Early diagnosis can make a lifetime of difference. Second half of action just about to start here at the John F. Kennedy Middle School in Woburn today. We've got uh, Metro footy action between the River Rats and the Lobster Men as part of the uh, 2011 Boston Demon Zadies Rainbow Metro schedule. And Bruce Rogers puts the ball up for grabs. As taken by the River Rats, kicked ahead by Jonik, and then uh, fisted away by Lacomi. And the kick now goes through. It's a goal. First play of the second half, the River Rats jump into a lead. 2-7-19, and the goal there kicked by Drew Patrick win. Number 13, nice goal there for the uh, Demons. I mean, the well, he plays for the Demons. Right now he's uh, with the River Rats. So in one fell swoop, the River Rats just uh, took the lead. They've been inching towards this point all through the first uh, two quarters. And now they lead by a score of uh, two goals, seven behinds, 19 points. The Lobster Men, three straight, 18. So you get set once again to ball it up. Kupke knocks it ahead once again. Back to Patrick and handball over to Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller is on the loose. He makes a kick in. And the mark is taken right there. Uh, yep, Aylwood's right there. And he kicks it, and he's got the goal. Or does he? Does he have the goal? Yep, they're kicking it out. So that's a goal right there. So Aylward registers the third major score for the River Rats. All of a sudden, 3-7-25. River Rats are out by a major and a minor. They were uh, seven points clear right now over the Lobster Men, 25-18 to 18 the score. So on the ground now after the opening ruck and taking now the Struckenmiller. Struckenmiller's got it again. And it's kicked up now. What is that, number four? But number four is not P.J. Devine now. They're doing uh, swaps on me again. That looks like a Mark Apple wearing number four. At this point, I just need to hope I recognize people. And the boundary throw in comes in. Tapped over. Andrew Lobsterman hands. Shippers has it now. Shippers kicks it through. And Shippers kicks a goal. And adds. Brings his team to within one. Four straight 24 now. Shippers, the leading goal kicker in the uh, Metro competition so far. Last time we were out here, he uh, kicked, I think. I think he kicked five in one game and then three or four in the next game. So. Adam Shipper is no stranger to uh, kicking a bag of goals in a game. And keep in mind, that was, uh, that was a shortened game. That was a, a two 20-minute half game. That wasn't a, a full four-quarter game like this one. And uh, whoop, a bit of a kick there. As a result, Ari Jonik is going to get the free kick. And he just kicks it straight ahead, looking for Hollywood. He can't come up with it, though, and Shippers takes it now. Shippers tries to handball it ahead. Aylward in there as well. The ball goes to ground, and there's a pile, and it's uh, going to be a ball up, I believe. And up it goes. Knocked uh, forward by Aylward, but then taken by the Lobster Men in front of Shippers, though. And uh, getting in there now, trying to get it. That's uh, number 14. That's uh, Murphy. And, oh, taking the ground there. Uh, knocked out by Callahan. Oh, it goes right behind the uh, lobsterman. And uh, Ben Dodge has it now. Has it taken away, but then gets it back. Kicks it toward the front, looking for Elward. Goes over his head. Elward can't pick it up, though. First one there is going to be P.J. Devine. And he takes it to ground and... Uh, We'll have a whistle, and it uh, looks like a uh, free kick is going to, uh, going to be awarded. Holding the ball. Holding the ball, okay. And so as a result, the kick is going to go to the Lobster Men from their own back pocket. 
and it's blocked. Nice job there by Elward, smothering that kick. He handballs it over now, and with it, that's uh, Dodge, I believe, kicking and and it's a that's a goal. Another goal by the River Rats. They're down by a lot, and now they're ten. It is caught up. Got to double check 12. I think that was, uh, got to double check. It looked like, uh, yeah, I think that's Ben Dodge. And once again, they've been uh, changing numbers around here. 4 7 31 now. So once again, the uh, River Rats are seven points clear after that goal. Yeah, that's uh, Ben Dodge. Just double checking because uh, they've been swapping uniforms a little bit here. So the uh, commentator's getting a little confused here. Uh, let's see. Kupke tries to get it off the rock. It goes to ground and then goes to Jonik, who has it right now. Kicks it from the center wing, looking for somebody up front. And it's taken almost by uh, Elward. Elward has it, though. Handballs it back now to Knezevic. Knezevic kicks towards the goals. And he's got it. The, the River Rats were down by, like... Uh, oh, they were down like, quite a bit. They were down by 1.14 points, I believe. And then it's caught up. They're not just caught up, but they went ahead and they actually increased their lead now. 5-7-37 now for the River Rats. They're now up by 13 uh, points. Two goals, one behind over the uh, Lobster Men. Obviously the key to the Lobster Men right now, get the ball in Chipper's hands up front. And Kupke knocks it uh, back, but it goes right into the hands of the Lobster Men. That's uh, Matt there. And the mark taken by Connor at the center wing. Joe Connor with it now. Lobster men looking to get back into this game. Kicks it back to center. Sliding mark. No, I said it's called play on. Didn't give him the mark, so he just kicks it ahead. That's uh, number six. Uh, and it's going to be uh, behind. Fatty Tangney. So that's the first uh, minor score now for the Lobster men. As a result, they now trail by two goals. 37 to 25 is the score. And the kick out goes uh, right through Fantoni and Jonik. However, it's taken now. I believe Apple's got it. And goes ahead to uh, Knezevic. But then that's taken away. Divine has it now for the Lobster Man. And it looks like it's going to be going out of bounds. Nope, they keep it in place somehow. They kick it in uh, towards center. Whoa, and we have a... Push in the back. Push in the back, okay. And so the uh, free kick going to the lobs uh, the uh, river rats, it looks like. Question is, who's got the ball? It's in the woods. It's in the woods. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Before we can uh, take the uh, free kick, uh, first order of business there, recovering the ball. There we go. Oh, it's going to be a throw in, not a free kick. That's thrown in now. And uh, Jonik tries to get it. All oh, collision, contact up high there. Luckily, uh, nothing uh, untoward happened because of it. With it now is Fantoni. Fantoni over and slipping there is Jonik. And Chippers has it now out to Callahan. Lobsterman trying to take advantage. Matt's got it now. And... Oh, tagged him too hard, so free kick given to the Lobsterman. And taking the free kick is going to be Ed Callahan for the Lobsterman. Callahan will get the kick. And it's a low line drive kick. Taken there, bounces off Shepard. He tries to fist it ahead. Goes back to ground. Toe poked ahead there by uh, Matt. But now here come the River Rats once again. And uh, the mark not quite taken there by Knezevic. Lacomi's got it now. Lacomi kicks it ahead. And it goes over everybody. Taking though in defense, that's uh, Mark Apple. Apple kicks it right through center. And not taken by anybody. It's taken out by Dodge. Dodge has it. He's just going to kick it uh, toward the front. Uh, goes past everybody. And, oh, <laughs> that was a grubber. It looked like it was curving toward the goals, but it just didn't have enough momentum to carry it through. Dodge has it now. Smothered in front. Nice play there by the Lobsterman uh, back line. Now Matt has it. 
Tries to handball it back to P.J. Devine. It's taken there. That's a turnover. Elward's got it now. Over to Kupke. Kupke tries to kick it to Jonek. Misses him. By the... Uh, by the, uh, what, would, what would the word be? By the uh, hypothetical country mile, I guess you'd say. Or the parenthetical or something like that. Something tactical. And the ball up now. Knocked down by Kupke and then taken by him. Handball to head. And with it now is Dodge. Dodge almost hauled down, but he's still able to keep the ball. Druckenmiller has it now. A.K.A. Gerbil. Yep. And with it now, that's Dodge again. Dodge with a kick toward the goals. And it looks like it's going to be behind. It's going to go a little short. And in the woods again. So a behind for the River Rats. And the score now stands. The River Rats, five goals, eight behinds, 38 points. And the Lobster Men, four, 125. This is the third of four quarters today. It's a Metro footy here at uh, John F. Kennedy Middle School in Woburn, part of the uh, Demon Zadies Rainbow Metro competition. And uh, we told you about this a little bit in the, the last Metro episode we did. Boston uh, Demons got together with the uh, Zadies Rainbow Foundation of Australia and actually uh, kind of hit home because of the fact that uh, the founder, in fact, the family that founded it is related to uh, Demons Club President Rich Fuller. In fact, Alan Turner, the uh, founder and CEO of Zadies Rainbow Foundation, is the uncle of Rich Fuller. Kick back in off the boundary. Almost to Kupke there. In the back pocket now, Lacomi tries to work it out. And with it now, that's Tangney. Goes back to ground, and it's going to go out again. So as we were saying, uh, the Zadie's Rainbow Foundation is actually uh, gaining a lot of traction lately in Australia. Uh, they've done a lot of tie-ins with the Australian Football League. Uh, they're an organization dedicated to uh, raising awareness about uh, organ and tissue donation. And if you want more information, you can visit their website at www.zadie, that's Z-A-I-D-E-E, dot -E org. With it now is Lakomi. Lakomi handballs it ahead. Callahan's got it there. Callahan kicks it uh, to center. However, Jonik will take it. Jonik takes the opposition mark, then handballs it right to uh, Knezevic. Knezevic kicks it to, toward the front. He's got it. Hollywood there. Nice sliding mark by James Aylward. Well within range. And they're lined up. It's almost like watching a free kick in soccer with like the nine guys building the wall in front of the goal. And Hollywood kicks it. And he goals it. Elward with his second goal of the match. And the River Rats add to their lead once again. 6-8-44 now. Six goals, eight behinds, 44 total points for the uh, River Rats. Lobster men right now stuck at fork 125. Looking to add to that uh, before the end of this uh, third quarter. As the sun continues to fall here. Off the ruck, it uh, goes off ground, and then it was given to Fantoni, who had tried to kick it up uh, through as he was being tackled. Winding up with it now, that's uh, Patrick Quinn. Tries to get it to Elward. Knocked away, nice spoil there by the opposite number 14. That was uh, Jim Murphy for the uh, Lobster Men. David, can I spend Dodge with it? Yep. Over to uh, Druckenmiller now. Druckenmiller kicks it ahead, and the sliding mark is taken. I believe that was Kupke. Yes, indeed, it is. When you see the full side, Paul Kupke is normally the uh, the Demons' main ruckman. And he's got a shot for goal here. And the kick goes through. And I see applause. I hear applause. Well, I see applause, too, because I see Mike Shepard uh, clapping over there. So I believe we do have another case of, uh, in fact, they're all uh, running back to center. Although, once again, I've seen no definitive signal, but I'm assuming by uh, the evidence I'm seeing here that it is a goal. And uh, are they uh, moving it up or are they uh, taking it? No, they are moving it up. So, uh, indeed, it was a goal. And um, that was uh, Kupke once again scoring that goal for the, for the um, River Rats. 
All of a sudden, I mean, it start it started out there at uh, one seven thirteen, and in this quarter they have scored six goals. And now it's seven eight fifty for the River Rats. Still five one twenty five for the Lobster Men. And uh, Lacomi has it now. Handballs over to Matt. Takes it to O'Connor. Connor can't take the mark though. Handballs it over everybody. And with it now is Kupke. Kupke kicks it uh, down towards the front. And it's going to go over everybody. Over Knezevic and uh, also uh, over Murphy. And it's going to be out, which means we'll have a boundary throw in at the uh, River Rats uh, left forward pocket. This is a blasting game today. Indeed. They're blasting all over the place. And the River Rats came out of nowhere. And it's uh, three quarter time now. And that's going to do it, which will give them more time to find the ball. At the end of three quarters, the score stands. The River Rats, seven goals, eight behinds, 50 points. And the Lobster Men, four goals, one behind, 25 points. Coming up next, the final quarter of action this afternoon here at the John F. Kennedy Middle School in Woodburn on stateside footing. Hats, hats, hats. I am folding the pants. The pants are long. <laughs> Do they go on my head? Do they? Do the pants go on my head? No. They go on Everyday head. moments can become teaching moments because learning starts long before school does. Give your child the start they need at bornlearning.org. One more term left to go in this Metro footy match today between the River Rats and the Lobster Men here at the John F. Kennedy Middle School in Woburn. And so far, we've been really get, able to get through today without any balls being kicked on the roof, <laughs> unlike last time when Ross Truckenmiller let a rocket go that wound up on the roof. And, uh, whoop, after the, uh, the ball up, the whistle is blown, and we're going to do it all over again. Take two. Click. Up we go. And Kupke's able to knock it uh, once again uh, out of the ruck, but then, oh, that was a... Uh, Holding the ball, holding the ball there, called on uh, number Someone eight now. Someone we don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, they're, they're going in now. Uh, it's taken uh, by the Lobstermen, and they're looking to move it ahead once again. With it now is Connor. Connor handballs it over to Matt. Matt's then wrapped up by Ari Jonik. Ball goes to ground. And uh, almost winds up in uh, River Rat hands. Matt's got it once again. He's on the ground, though. And they're going to ball it up. Matt was in there along with Ari Jonik. Uh, let's see, knocked over now and uh, goes back to ground. And once again, we'll ball it up. Not much uh, pro progress from where we had it last time. Up we go again and uh, knocked over into River Rat hands with it now is Dodge. Dodge with a kick toward the goals, and it looks like it's going to be behind. Uh, behind, okay. Got to double check, got to make sure it was behind and didn't go out on the full. And Lukomi's taking the kick out, so indeed another behind. So 7 9 51 now for the River Rats. And the uh, mark taken at the left halfback flank by Matt Garofalo. He kicks it ahead, bounces off the ground. Winds up in Lacomi's hands. Lacomi, however, winds up in traffic. Tries to handball it out quickly. And with it, uh, Callahan, although he's uh, dispossessed now and uh, battle for it now. It's kicked uh, undefended. There's a race for the ball right now. Looks like the first one that's going to be uh, getting there will be Jim Murphy. Uh, however, behind. some uh, River Rats close in, and it's uh, gone through for a behind. 7-10, 52 now. 52-25 to 25 in favor of the River Rats. And uh, Callahan can't pull in the mark, but he handballs it off, and uh, Matt's got it now. Matt with a kick in. Mark is taken there at left uh, half forward flank. And oh, it went to right through the hands of uh, number three. That was uh, the uh, that's Earl Evan. And uh, Matt's got it now. Matt's got to go already. He uh, has uh, the ball taken away from him, though. Kick now. Shippers has it. It curves in, and it's going to go through. Oh, it's touched. They say it was touched. Yes, it's touched. So that's going to be uh, behind for the Lobster Men. 
And once again, the Lobster Men right now are to half the goal, half the point total of the River Rats. 52 to 26 right now is the score. And uh, looking for the ball there. One of the uh, River Rats getting set for the uh, kick out. Time running out for the Lobster Men. They've got to score and score quickly. And this has like been a great game. Mm -hmm. River Rats really just uh, coming out of uh, nowhere in that third quarter. Kicking a total of six goals. Taking the lead. And uh, taking the uh, game with authority. Shepard now to take the kick out from his back goal square. Looking for Jonak. Jonak with the mark. Jonak now at uh, halfback flank. Goes over and infraction of the, the contest. Back. Pushing the back and as a result, Knezevic will have the free kick for the River Rats. And, oh, Elward takes the mark in close. AKA Hollywood. Yep, Hollywood uh, takes the mark in close. He's going for the goal or is he gonna try and pass it to somebody in front? Looks like he's gonna go for the goal. And it's a behind. And it's another behind for the River Rats. Still uh, managing to rack up the points now. 7-11-53 for the Lobster, for the River Rats rather. Lobster men still at fork, 226. And Lakomi to take the uh, kick out from his back goal square, kicks it to himself. He's just gonna try and rush it a little bit, get a little bit of steam on that. And it goes ahead and there's a race for it now. Looks like a PJ Devon will be the first to get there. Indeed he is. Devon kicks it smothered though. Nice job there. And uh, Devon gets it back. He handballs it ahead to Knezevic. Knezevic can't uh, come up with it though. Handball there by Devon goes to Elward now. Elward handball ahead. Over to Apple. Apple, he's got a lane, and he kicks it. Goes off the side of his foot, though, but it's taken in front by Ari Jonik. Just kicks it and goals it. I thought that was going to go on top of the school. <laughs> yeah, doing a gerbil move from last week. So uh, the goal there scored by uh, Jonik for the River Rats. I think that's uh, Ari's second goal of the night, or the, well, I should say the afternoon, but I could say the night now because. It's getting really dark around here. 8-11-59 now the score for the River Rats. Still a 4 2 26 for the Lobster Men. As they get set to uh, put it back up at center, put it back up for grabs. Up we go. And it's knocked uh, back to Dodge now. Dodge handballs it ahead to Jonik. Jonik kicks it from the center wing looking for uh, Edward once again. It's going to bounce and it's going to go out. Still a good result, though, for the River Rats as they'll get a boundary throw-in. Boundary throw-in from their left forward pocket. And it's knocked into the hands of one of the uh, Lobster Men. Going for it now is Shippers. Toe poked ahead by Connor. And Kupke has it now. Tries to get it to uh, Shepard. Goes past him, though. Shepard handballs off to Devine. Devine to Jonik. Jonik handball back to Devine. Devine moves the other way and uh, looking for a Knezevic on the. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, that's uh, Druckenmiller on okay, the way. Gerbil. And now that's uh, Elward with the kick, with uh, the mark, I should say. And uh, he's going to take it now at the uh, right half forward flank. AKA Hollywood. Yeah. Kick through. Looks like a point of behind. So another point for the River Rats now. 8, 12, 60. Eight goals, 12 behind, 60 points as Lakomi takes the kick out once again. And it's taken there. Bye, nice uh, nice uh, job by Tangney there, taking the mark on the center wing. Kick ahead now. Oh, it goes right over through the hands of Matt Garofalo. And he's being harassed now. And uh, Devine has it now. PJ's got it. Over to Dodge. Ben Dodge with it now. Handballs it ahead to Elward. Back to Dodge. Dodge with a kick toward goal. It's going and it's going to go through. That's actually going to be a behind. And Looking for Matt. And Matt takes the mark. 8-13-61. Matt. Matt kicks it ahead. Looking through the corner. Looking for a counter there. However, it was touched by Apple. Shippers trying to shepherd Druckenmiller off the ball. Fisted ahead by Devine. Tried to get it to Ben Dodge. Couldn't do it. There's a, still a battle for it right around center. And uh, fisted over and uh, goes to Shippers now, but goes out of his hands. And, uh, oh, he's uh, taken there. Shippers can't take the uh, ball as it's uh, going in the air. With it now is Jonik. Jonik from the uh, 
Center wing kicking it, looking for Nez uh, Knezovic. Knezovic has it, though. The goal is unguarded. Handballs it ahead. And Aylward scores the goal. And that is his third of the match. 9-13-67 now. Switch. River Rats almost up by 40 now. Increasing their lead. Wow, I forgot to silence my phone here. And we're going back up. And uh, Dodge gets it off the uh, center tap. And now Jonah kicks it. Scotty Nicholas takes the mark at left half forward flank. Nicholas uh, takes a kick looking for Druckenmiller. Winds up being taken by the uh, Lobstermen. They now kick it up toward their forward pocket. And back. Lobstermen had it, though, but they couldn't uh, field it cleanly. And... Uh, Callahan fists it ahead. And uh, big booming kick now toward goal, looking for Shippers. Can't get it to Shippers. Shepard is there. And the mark is taken there Patty. by uh, Tangney. Yes, Patty Tangney. Tough angle. Let's see what he can do. Maybe he'll just try and put it in front. It was a great mark, too. Mm. And big kick, and looks like a point. So that'll be a behind for the lobster men. So fork 327 now. And the kick goes up. Almost taken there by the uh, River Rats, but they've got it now. Kick up along the center wing. Goes right through Connor. Nicholas is going to get it now. Nicholas being pursued. Handballs to Jonik. Jonik kicks it, and that looks like it's going to go out on the full. It is. So the uh, lobster man will get the free kick. Jim Murphy will take the kick in. Okay, the kick in coming from uh, their own uh, back pocket. And, oh, almost taken in defense there. I believe that was Kupke that almost took that. Kupke's got it now after the handball from Dodge. Looks uh, for Jonik on the handball. And a uh, loose ball goes to ground. And a uh, toe poked ahead by Joe Connor, trying to get it over to Ed Callahan. Callahan uh, can't uh, move it to, to an advantageous position. He collides with Jonik. He's got it now, but he's on his knees. Connor trying to toe poke it ahead once again. Tries to get it over to Knezovic. I'm sorry, not Knezovic, Matt Garofalo. Knezovic plays for the other guys. And uh, kicked ahead by Callahan. And taken there by Devine. Divine on the back line coming through. It's in Fantoni's hands now. Joe Fantoni, big kick right to Aylward. Okay, Hollywood. Huge kick there, and he's going to kick it up, and... Shank. Let's see. Shanked it. Yep, shanked it, and uh, as a result, it's another behind. And it's going to go out, so that's going to be another point. And it's going to be a boundary throw. Nope, it's going to be. Free kick uh, given there to the uh, River Rats. 9-14-68 their current score. Fork 327 still for the uh, Lobstermen. Battle for it along the ground now after the free kick. With it is Lacomi now. Lacomi tries to get it over. It's taken by Fantoni. Joe Fantoni, big kick, another big booming kick. Is it enough? It's going through. It's a goal. That was a big booming kick in. Just went into the goalpost. 10-14-74 now for the River Rats. 4-3-27 for the Lobster Men. As uh, time winds down here in this uh, final term, this uh, final quarter here of uh, Demons Metro footy. Just mm -hmm. a few minutes left. Three minutes left. And uh, going over now, taking off the ruck by Lacomi. Lacomi's got it right now. He's uh, tackled, though, by Kupke. Loses the ball. And handball over to Lacomi again. Lacomi, big kick, looking for Shippers. Shippers can't take it, though. He tries to go overhead. It bounces off his hands. And uh, they're moving toward the goals. Shippers has it. Shippers is running toward the goal. Shippers is going to kick a goal. 
That's Shipper's fourth goal of the match. 5 3, 33 now for the Lobstermen. Nobody was covering it. Yeah, he had it loose, and pretty much it was, uh, that was his uh, to take. Uh, everything was uncovered because everyone was concentrating on the uh, ball in the uh, front pocket. So right now, Shipper is uh, the leading goal kicker in the game today with four goals. Elwood's got three for the River Rats. jonix has got two. And he's had to uh, put it up for grabs once again as we uh, fish it out of the woods. been uh, basically uh, just uh, looking, exploring, trying to find the ball. Sometimes when they're going there looking for the ball, trying to search around to find it. I'm not sure whether we're on stateside footy or CSI. And uh, it's fisted ahead to try and get it to Shippers. Can't do it. It's, uh, it's along the ground. And coming out with it now is Kupke. And there are a whole bunch of blue jumpers there. However, they can't cleanly uh, work with it. With it now is Apple. Apple over to Knezovic. Knezovic kicks it ahead looking for Nicholas. Nicholas takes the mark. Tough angle for Nicholas. Let's see if he uh, goes for the banana shot or tries to set somebody up in front. He's got Apple right there. He's got Knezovic. He's got Dodge. And the coach looks to kick it. It's through! Wow. That's a huge goal for Nicholas. Nice one there by the uh, Demon coach. They're setting back up at center. 11 goals, 14 behinds, 80 points now. 80 points for the uh, River Rats, just uh, 39 points for the Lobstermen. At this point, obviously, uh, it's going to be a big uh, decisive win for the River Rats, which is going to in increase their standing on the uh, ladder, the Metro Competition ladder. There will now be 3-0. The Lobstermen will be 0-3. Off the ruck, goes back and is handballed back and is uh, kicked forward now. Trying to get it to Matt. He's got it. He's just going to kick it ahead, try and get it to Shippers. Shippers, oh, he can't hang on to it. Otherwise, he was home free. Shippers is still being harassed there quite a bit. And it's kicked there. And kicked through for a goal. That was Ed Callahan. Next. And with that goal, that's full time. So the final score here at the Kennedy Middle School. The River Rats, 11 goals, 14 behinds, 80 points. And the Lobster Men, 6 goals, 3 behinds, 39 points. And that's going to do it for today's telecast. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Thanks to my crew. Thanks to, first of all, my uh, partner here in the booth today making his broadcast debut, Kyle Shute. Connor Shute, my spotter and scorekeeper, and my camera people, Stacey Robert and Bob Boyce. On behalf of all those wonderful people who are helping out, I'm Bill Robert, thanking you for watching Stateside Footy. Don't forget, we bring you the game that's Australian-made, American-played, and it comes your way on cable and online. You can check us out on our Blip TV site. It's www.blip.tv slash statesidefootytv. Thanks for watching.